Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys have had a wonderful day. I did because today is the final and last day of my six day streak at work. I am finally off tomorrow. I am excited to get paid tomorrow. We're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff done tomorrow. I'm hoping to get a lot done tomorrow. Um, so when celebration of that, we went ahead and got a new bottle because we haven't had a new bottle in here uh, for the shelf in a long time. So we went ahead and got one. It really hasn't been long. It's been a few days, but feels like an eternity to me. So. We went out and we got something. It was requested, I believe, a long time ago, if I'm not mistaken, or somebody may have, we've just been chatting, and they're like, here, you should try this. So I went out and got it. Um, it's called George Nickel is the name of it. The label's kind of uh, old school stylish. It's got just a plain sticker label on it. Uh, it's got a kind of a lot to go with it. So it's established in 1870. George Dickel Tennessee Sour Mash Whiskey. Classic number eight recipe. Distilled charcoal, me charcoal and mellowed at George A. Dickel and Company. And Tullahoma, 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 Tennessee. 40% alcohol. That makes it 80 proof, guys. Um, on the side it says handcrafted smooth sipping. Uh, it says George A. Dickel back in 1870. George Dickel began uh, fulfilling in his dream of crafting the smoothest Tennessee whiskey around. George believed that he could make the best whiskey. There was one ingredient that he needed most: time. While more than a century has passed since George distilled his first batch, we continue to honor George's timeless craftsmanship by letting our whiskey rest as long as it needs to before bottling. Inspired early on, George discovered that his whiskey made in the cold winter months tasted smoother. Today, we follow this tradition by chilling our whiskey before filtering it through sugar maple charcoal. We think our unique chilled filtration process makes a fine whiskey and hope you agree. Uh, on the other side, it says our classic number eight is aged to perfection in charred white oak casks, creating our signature balance of flavors featuring aromas of aged oak and caramel. Uh, leading in a smoky finish with hints of maple and buttered corn. Oh, I'm excited about that one. Around here, we like to say there ain't nothing better. But guys, that's the glass. That's the bottle. There's still one more thing to read. But before we jump into that, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the family. And I hope you guys enjoy all these videos that we're posting out. We post one every single day. And I hope you guys enjoy that. So, Leading on to that, before we pour us a glass right here, we're going to read this last little bit. I know it's a lot on here, but that's why I love these bottles. Cascade Hollow. Take a sip of George Dickel's fine whiskey, and you'll know it comes from someplace pretty special. It is called Cascade Hollow. Back in the 1800s, there were two things that drew George here, friendly people and the fresh water of the Cascade Springs. Some of the finest spring water we reckon to be found anywhere. If you come to Cascade Hollow for a visit, you'll find out that not much has changed in the last century or so on either count. All right, so that's that. There's nothing else really on here but that stuff, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it, and we will be drinking it. Oh, I still suck at these things. You would think almost, I don't even know how many videos we've posted, but you would think since December of opening all these different bottles of whiskey in this entire series, we would not be so bad at this. Come on, man. Fingers would work better. I wouldn't have to deal with it. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't expect it to be a cork. I actually kind of expected it to be a twist cap. So I'm pretty uh, pretty excited about that because we all know, guys, I love corks. So we're going to just to put a little moisture on the cork and we're going to see how she goes. Ah. Oh, wow. There, there's a burst of like aroma. Definitely, like the first thing I got was that buttered corn. That was awesome. A little bit of the caramel. But mostly that corn smell, that uh, buttered corn, it's very heavy there for some reason. I, I don't know if it's just because something that's first, first thing to my mind or what, but definitely there. All right, so I do genuinely like the color. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it. It's a little bit on the lighter side. The lightness, I do believe, I may be wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, most of your lightness in the whiskeys come from the barrels that you use. So they said they use the white oak barrels, so that makes these whiskeys just a tad bit lighter and a little less dark. Because of the barrels, it draws the flavor from the barrel, and that being said, if you put something in a very dark oaky barrel, you're going to get a dark oaky flavor or a dark oaky look. It's like why some of your other whiskeys are really, really dark, some of them are really light, but it's just a few shades, really, honestly. But we're gonna pour a little bit in here. All right. Oh, that's a fish cork. Ugh. 
All right, and there's even a hole for it. It's gonna go right behind that Pendleton, actually. So. Ooh, definitely sweet. Definitely have a, a very sweet note. That is sweet. It's got like a very strong sweet smell. I'm assuming it's that from that buttered caramel. It's, I think that's what it said. There's so much that it said. Yeah. But I'm pretty excited for the smoky finish and the maple taste. That's what I'm excited for. I haven't really got a whole lot of the maple smell, but definitely got a little bit of everything else. You can never mistake that. Movie though. All right, so cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Dink. Okay, so there's the maple. So more of the no burn, no bite, no nothing. That's that was crazy. I was expecting a little bit of bite because it's 80 proof. A lot of those 80 proofs are a little bit of like it's just a little, little bit much on there on the end. But uh, all in all, definitely got the maple oak in there, a note in there. Um, the white oak, you can always tell. Most of the time, if you try it enough, you'll de you can tell the difference between the oak and the barrel because of the the strength of the oaky note that you get. Whether it's a little bit on the lighter side or if it's heavy, like woody, then you're gonna notice it. The charcoal flavor that is in there, it's not terrible. It's not overbearing. Um, when you get into your really charcoal stuff, when you're really dark stuff, that's gonna be more like your uh, scotches and stuff like that. And it's gonna start um, giving you that darker taste. But this has a little bit of everything that has a great finish on it. I don't think I've ever had a George Dickel. I may be wrong, but as I can remember at the moment, I've never had it. But I can say it is worth your buying for your buck. It has a great taste, it's smooth, it's easy to drink, and it's only 20 bucks, I think it was. I think it was roughly 20 bucks, I don't remember. It was in that $20 range. So I was fairly excited with the price now that I tasted it and it has an amazing taste. So, all in all, it's probably, I give it a 7 out of 10 when it comes to whiskeys. A 7 out of 10 on the list of whiskeys that I have tried. Um, I do want to come out with, and get like a flight of say, we'll do a flight of like 10 whiskeys. But it's going to be like small amounts and we'll do my flight of 10 whiskeys of what I think is my top 10 favorite whiskeys. And we will go through each and every single one of them in a certain order, which I think would be a pretty cool uh, thing for the channel. But, hmm. Hmm. I got a little bit more of the, uh, the butteriness in that one. Definitely something that could be dangerous. And dangerous not as in like harmful, but dangerous as in it doesn't have that bite, that burn, that uh, that thing who's like, maybe I shouldn't drink so much. But it's so soft and it's so smooth, you're like, hmm, wow, it's already gone. I guess I should pour me a little bit more. <laughs> and lo and you know, you already had like three glasses in, and it's in the evening time already, and you're feeling pretty good about yourself. But all in all, I would definitely say get you a bottle. Put it on your shelf. You're gonna want to try this. It'll be something good to sip around on the house, in the house, not on the house. Uh, sip around while you're on your day off. Something soft, something a little bit warm. I like all of my whiskeys warm now. Genuinely, most of them warm anyway. Um, but definitely, like I said, definitely something for you to try, guys. But that's all I have for you today. For for you to gaze. Um, today is this bottle here, and I'm very excited about it. I was very intrigued about doing the video because um, I do love the bottle. The bottle's made awesome. It's not like your normal traditional Tennessee bottles, and that's what I liked about it. Uh, on top of that, guys, tomorrow's going to be a big day, so the video may come out a little bit earlier in the evening. Not as early as normal days off, but it will come out earlier than this. So um, be ready. Be excited because it's going to happen. So till tomorrow, guys. Cheers. If you enjoyed the video, guys, hit the like button. It helps show the video to way, way more people. 
helps me put the channel out there, get more subscribers. And guys, speaking of subscribers, be part of the family. Hit that subscribe button. Push them to 150 subscribers to possibly be a winner. Every 50 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. This will be our third giveaway, guys. We're doing great. I love you guys to death. Y'all are truly amazing. Uh, leave some comments below if you want to see me try anything else. Tomorrow is probably going to be a big day at the ABC store. So if you want me to try something, send me a private message. Send me a comment on here. Do whatever you need to. All my information is in my links on my YouTube channel. That's all you got to do is click them. And it'll take you to my pages. Guys, till tomorrow. Till next time. Don't forget. I buy it so you guys don't have to. I try it so you guys don't have to. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night and an even better morning going into work tomorrow. Have a blessed evening, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another new bottle of whiskey.